Hey everyone, and welcome back to a new episode of our City Skylines After Dark Let's Play. Just checking out one of our new metro stations that we built last time around, getting quite a few people using those, which is good. And this is our high density residential that is definitely building up quite quickly, and also one of our pedestrian paths. So they're working out quite well. So this is actually our city. If you're only sort of joining the series now, just do a little bit of a quick recap. This is the zoning layout we have. So we have actually have a forestry industry over here, some high density through here, a few little offices, and then our big residential sector, which is sort of half high density residential and half low density now. Basically in the process of converting a lot of that over. And it's going to be a process that is ongoing for quite some time. Right, what are we going to do now? Actually, we didn't zone. It looks like we didn't zone all this through. So I'm just going to do that really quickly, guys. In case someone wants to build houses there, um, why not? If they're game to do it, then we are certainly willing to let them. So, what we're going to do, we'll actually start running the game a little bit. Um, so we're up to 57,000. So like I mentioned in, at the end of last episode, our first priority for this episode, or our priority for this episode, actually to build a cargo terminal here for our CBD. So we're then, then going to hook it up to the main line over here somewhere. So it's always good practice to so actually hook... Um, have multiple connections to your to the main line when you can. Um, a lot of people sort of even like separating out passenger lines and cargo lines and actually not have them intersect at all um, apart from the main line. So that's you know something that we'll probably get into a little fair way down the track. So passenger trains generally something you're not getting to into you you know sort of in the 40 50 thousand population mark and we are quite a way away from that. So what we're going to do first? We are going to set up a few roads. So we're going to use our forested road um, with a straight line, and I think we're just going to run. So what we're going to do? Just going to run a road through here like this, and then just down here, and then we're actually just going to run one through there like that, and then we're going to put down our cargo terminal. So you put one down here. So cargo terminals generate quite a bit of noise, um, so 115 noise pollution. But given this is a noisy area anyway, we're not really going to have a whole lot of residential, if any, around here. Um, that's not a problem. So we're going to build a cargo train terminal there, like that. Then what we're going to do is actually get rid of these roads. Get rid of those. They were basically just guides so we could get this sort of back one set up. Um, so what we're going to do basically, we're going to set this up, we're going to hook it, in, hook it into our main line. So what's going to happen, we're going to have um, cargo trains come in from the main line, come in and into our cargo terminal over here. And then all the little cargo trucks and stuff are just going to come out of here, go around to the CBD, drop off their stuff, and then come back. Um, so it tastes better than what we've got at the moment, where they have to come all the way along here, or through the highway, and then all the way through our city. So that's sort of why we're going to spend the money to do that. Um, speaking of money, it is going to cost us quite a bit, so I don't think we've really got the, the cash to set it up, but we will certainly start doing that. So what we're going to do, we're actually going to set up a line... Um, sort of like our own internal main lines. So we're going to do that there, and then we're going to just extend that out a little bit. Then we're actually going to do the same thing that we've done over in our cargo, in our one cargo train terminal over in our forestry, and set up sort of an, an auxiliary line so they don't sort of block up this main line, which we want to keep as free as possible, as much as possible. What we're going to do next is swing our line around over here, and if we can bring it along, along to here, like so. Then we're actually going to come up um, over our main road there, drop it down to there, and then come back down again like this. Um, we're going to stop out there, and then we're going to put in sort of two connections like this, and then just like a Y shape, like um, if I can get it set up properly. Um, nope, yep, like that. Basically, basically, this just means that sort of any car, trains coming from either directions can have a quicker way into the here, rather than sort of having a square um, connection, and then they're sort of going to stop, and it's really slow, and it slows everything down, so that just makes it a lot quicker. Um, so this is all hooked up now, so we actually don't need to do anything else, which is really, really good. So we're sort of going to sit back, and it will take a little bit of time to kick in, um, but we'll, so we'll bump up the speed to three. Getting quite a bit of commercial, industrial is coming back up again as well. It's because our population is increasing very quickly. So we actually put on five and a half thousand within the last episode and four minutes. So that's because we expanded out here very, very quickly. So up to 15,000 um, income or cash flow, which is good. Good for us anyway. So I think everything's set up here. Everything looks okay. So it should be fine. So what we're going to do is sort of just wait around, wait until a, a commercial uh, cargo train comes in, and I'll show you guys how it works. 
Um, I'm sure most of you know anyway, but sort of anyone new to the series or anything like that or hasn't set up a system like this, um, it should be quite interesting for them. So, yes, yeah, so definitely get a lot of trucks off here. So actually, if we pause here now, um, we can see that we haven't primarily, mostly what we've got in this road now are our um, actual forestry trucks and then cargo trucks coming from here. There's not a whole lot of actual passenger trucks. That's a police car. Um, and that's another police car. And these are all cargo trucks. And we actually got, haven't got any other cars um, all the way. Another police car, another police car, until we get to here. So basically we can see that compared to how many we had before, um, actual you know cars driving from our residential to get to work. So it shows that our metro system is working brilliantly. Come in and have a look. We've already got 553 people a week using it, which is perfect. So here we can see we actually had two. So here we go. Here's a cargo train, um, cargo train basically. We've actually got two. So they come in here from the main line. Come into our terminal, and if we jump down to here, stops in at our cargo line, and then all these little trucks come out, and they're just going to zoom around into the commercial, drop off their goods, and you can see, so all these ones that are coming out now are basically ones that we've saved from this road through here. Um, and also, even like it's going to look a lot, you may be thinking, well, you're just going to congest all this area, but you've also got to think that they're actually not coming through here either. So not coming through here into our main, like, and having to come all the way through our city and then once they've delivered come all the way back out and through the highway so it actually saves an enormous amount of traffic and congestion and all that kind of stuff once they're done they just come back in and into the into the cargo terminal and there we go it's a lot quicker a lot more efficient and that's definitely going to help out our traffic situation so middle of the day it's actually looking really quite good so we had a lot of red coming through here so we can even see now that it's a lot less congested than what it was before even through here um, is a lot better so we don't have anywhere near as many look through here we actually don't have a whole lot of cars coming through here anymore because there's no there's no need really um, a lot of most trucks don't need to come in through here so you can definitely see that some still um, will obviously import their goods by road just for the same reason that some forestry will actually export their goods via road as well so don't worry too much about that don't think you've actually failed or anything um, sort of you know just just how the game works just how the the industries decide to run things it's up to 763 a week on our metro, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, and everything's going quite well. So building up our money quite quickly, which I'm really quite pleased about. So that is very, very good. Um, we've got a bit of a problem. So what are, what's happening here? I'm not quite sure what's, what's happening. So actually, what guys, what's, what's happening? We are having forestry trucks from our industry over there actually coming in to use this terminal, um, which we really don't want which actually shouldn't be happening because we've actually got a heavy heavy traffic ban. Um, make sure there are no optional routes available because businesses in the city need to send and receive deliveries. No heavy transport vehicles allowed does not affect highways. So maybe that's it. Maybe we need to give them more options. In, ca in which case, maybe we need to um, make this a bit better. So maybe we need to make it quicker for them to get on the highway rather than, than sort of coming through and using this. So I'm not really quite sure why they're choosing to use this one rather than this one. Maybe there's only so many trucks that you can use this area, but it doesn't really seem to be like overflowed or anything to me. Um, so maybe that's a question for you guys. Maybe you can sort of tell me why why this is happening or, you know, I'll definitely look into it. Um, but for now, I think what we're going to actually try, so we really don't want these trucks coming in. So that's just going to kind of com completely um, defeat the purpose of what we're trying to achieve. So what we're going to do, we're going to jump in here, purchase this tile. A little bit of a waste, but I think we sort of have to do it. I think we've got a huge amount of choice at the moment. So what we're going to do, we are actually going to, we're going to get rid of this. And get rid of this one as well. And all of this. Um, let me get rid of this as well and we'll... There we go. So what we're going to do, we're actually going to build basically the same thing, but just here. Then we're going to see if this helps, which hopefully it does. So we're just going to build another three-way intersection, which is generally they work quite well in my experience. Pretty easy to set up, no fuss and all that kind of stuff. So we're just going to just try and line it up as much as we can. Like about there. Then we're just going to hook up the rest of our highway connections. So into there and then into there. 
And then from there to there, and from, oops, from there to there, like that. There we go. So now what we're going to do, we are going to run this, just a two-way road, which is what we had before. Run it up through, so go off that. Run it to there, and then actually run it sort of up through here, like, uh, probably that'll do. It's going to look a bit weird, but I think it'll do. We get our highway connections and actually sort of come in from there to like there, and then actually sort of from there to there like that. So it's not super pretty, um, but I think hopefully it's going to work. So we're just going to bump up the speed again, um, see what happens. So hopefully these trucks decide that it's far easier for them to actually um, you know not use this terminal anymore. Um, we'll give it a while to sort of sort out because sort of we will we'll need to our industry will sort of need to reset their um, you know where they're going to export stuff. Um, so we'll just sort of leave that for a minute. Um, but it's definitely working a lot better sort of having this cargo thing set up here. So I think that's quite good. It is a longer route for our cars, but hopefully that makes it even more incentive, more of an incentive for them to use the metro. Because um, I, I mean, your sims or your residents and all that kind of stuff, they look for the quickest way to get anywhere, which is obviously logical. So if, you know, by doing that, if making this a longer route to sort of take their cars over here, um, hopefully that just encourages them to take the metro instead. Righty-ho, so we see some more cargo trains coming in, which is absolutely fantastic. This road is obviously still very busy. Um, what we're going to do, what are we going to do now? So we've got a lot of industrial and commercial demand. So we have to make a few decisions about where we go to from here. Not quite sure to be honest. Um, there's a few things that we can do. We can expand our CBD out into this direction and sort of build around our cargo terminal there. We can extend some offices and some commercial down in this direction and down a little bit this way. Um, we can also actually extend it up a little bit, but probably not. I no, probably don't really want to do that. Um, as, as for our industrial, we can may probably just extend it down here. We're definitely going to need access to this area. So I think this is going to be our next tile, which I think we get at our next... Um, nope, it's going to be the one after that. So it's going to be quite a way away. So that's going to be something that we have to think about. Um, in terms of other industrial, what options do we have? We have got a lot of forestry, a lot of forestry, quite a bit of oil that we could actually tap into. Don't really have any agriculture. Um, it's not feasible, really. Um, we could have built oil here. We've got our... Um, our uh, Chicago train terminal set up there, so we don't really want to do that. Don't have a whole lot of ore mining. I suppose we could set up a little bit over here. I'm not really a fan of ore mining. I'd prefer not to do that. Um, yeah, so I suppose we could potentially set up another forestry over here. Um, and sort of connect it right into the rail network, or the, the road network there. Don't probably don't really want to set one up here because we don't want them coming all the way through um, and we haven't got access to the highway out here. Don't have access to ships yet e either, um, which would, if, I mean, if we had access to our cargo ships, that'd be easy. We just put it here and that, that'd run it out there quite quickly. So I think what we have to do, I think we expand our industry down here, expand our commercial along this way a little bit and here and put down some more offices just to sort of soak up a lot of that demand. So that's what we're going to do now. We are going to put down a whole bunch more of um, high density commercial to there. Then we're going to run a tree lined road from, put the snaps on, so actually from there up to there, I think. Is that it? Nope, not quite. Um, so I should delete that so we can get it right. There we go. And I'm just going to run this out here. There we go. That should be fun as well. Um, I think high density is okay there. Yep, just gonna just gonna do it. Just gonna run with it and put down some offices to there. Also going to run another road. Um, I think probably just to there, guys. I think that's probably enough. Okay, probably don't really need to do any more than that. <coughs> Excuse me, and put down some more high density commercial there and here. We had to get rid of these power lines as well, and I think that's okay. I mean, eventually, I think we're going to move all this again, um, hopefully. 
but yeah, um, I think it should be okay. I mean, we don't really like putting our stuff next to pollution, but it shouldn't be actually sort of too close to it. Land value is not amazing there, but it's not too bad either. Some really good land value through here. So actually up through this sort of strip through here is actually at the maximum now, which is which is good. It's really good. So it's good. So yep, that's good. Um, right, what we're going to do? We're going to need to run some pipes just a little bit further. Electricity should be okay for now. Just going to run this, let it run for a little bit. I'll bump it up to two speed. And definitely getting some some, um, some buildings starting to fill in here. So now that that one has popped there, what we're going to do, we're going to get rid of this and that one. And actually now, just build along to there. That that should hopefully, is that going to kick in enough? Yep, that is okay. So we're actually hooked up there, so we actually get rid of these. Perfect. So that's good. Don't have to worry about that, which is absolutely good. Obviously got some pollution in here, so we're going to get rid of, want to get rid of this quite quickly if we can. Abandoned building down here. So these ones are lacking some workers. What are they lacking? Educated workers. So lacking well educated and highly educated these ones. Highly educated and educated. So how are we going? Well, we can't really do anything more than what we're doing with our university at the moment. Like we've got a huge amount of capacity, a fair, lot, a fair bit of coverage as well. High school, uh, I suppose we could put another one down. Um, given we do have sort of such extreme demand at the moment. Elementary schools, I think it's okay, really. Um, we've got a lot of educated. So I think we're going to need another high school. Definitely afford it, so that's fine. Where are we going to put it, guys? Where is the best spot? Um, sort of in the same area if we can. Maybe sort of just over here if we can, potentially. Right there. So obviously getting rid of some housing and stuff, but I think that's just what has to happen. I mean, we've got a huge amount of, we've got heaps of population, it's increasing quite quickly, still got a fair bit of demand in our residential buildings, like we've got three households there, two, one there, four there, one there, three there, yeah, so we've got a lot of demand, or a lot of extra capacity in our high, high density residential, so we're not going to worry about that, which is good. Um, so, we're just going to run through quickly and check a lot of our services, so electricity is fine, water, um, it's okay for the moment. Traffic, like we said, definitely improved, so that's nice. So it's flowing quite well through here, which is good. So I'm quite happy about that. Um, yeah. Still getting a few trucks through here. Forestry trucks, not a whole lot, but definitely more than we want. So I'm not really quite sure why this is happening. I'm not really quite sure what we can do to fix it. Um, maybe we need to, I'm not really sure to be honest, maybe we need to cover our cargo terminal like that maybe we need to cover this entrance road it says it doesn't apply to highways though so maybe that doesn't really apply um, I'm not really sure what we can do to be honest I'm not not really sure what else there is to do expand our district out here like this just to cover that area that's all fine through there um, yeah it's definitely something I'm going to have to look into I mean I assume it's because they think they haven't got any other options or something like that I'm not quite sure why they think that would be the case maybe we need to put down a second um, cargo terminal over here but even given that this one isn't actually got huge demand, um, maybe that's... I'm not sure, I'm gonna have a look, actually, what I'm gonna check out, guys, I'm gonna check that if, um, these need... So this is hooked up here, actually, that's not hooked up there, maybe this is the problem, guys, maybe... It's only hooked up here, so maybe they actually can't sort of get out this way. I actually never realised that, it doesn't look like it's hooked up at all, does it? Right, so maybe that's where the problem has lain all along, so what we're gonna do, we are going to grab that. We're going to build up into there. Is that hooked up? It has. Right, so that's better. So maybe they felt like they couldn't actually get out this way. Maybe that was sort of the problem. So we'll run this for a little while, see if that helps. So I definitely would have thought we should have been having more trucks coming here. Given the amount of trucks we've actually still got coming through, we definitely should have had more in here. So that's okay. I'm actually going to go and double check these lines now, make sure we haven't done the same thing. So that one's fine, and this one's fine too. That one's okay, and this one doesn't really matter, but that one's okay as well. Cool. Right, so that's good. So high school is back up to sort of basically capacity, or, you know, acceptable. Those few buildings there have become abandoned because they didn't have enough workers. That's okay, I guess, for the moment. How's our zoning going? So definitely, I think officers, officers just really don't cut it, especially when you're needing to get 
rid of quite a bit of demand offices you just really you need a huge space basically um, and we don't really I don't want to build like a big office city I'd rather have you know, an industry to be per perfectly honest so what we're we gonna do we are going to pause the game and build extend our industry extend oops didn't want to do that that's okay we can oops we can live with that so we're going to run along there like that um I think we're going to do this into there and that'll probably do for that area then I think we have to start building down here um really I don't think we've really got any other choice There we go. So we got some power lines running through there. Um, that's okay, I guess. We can deal with that later. Just gonna get rid of that one. Given that we only need one. Um, and we may actually sort of move this. We may actually go from there to there instead. That means we can get rid of... What can we get rid of? We can definitely get rid of that. Also means we can get rid of this. Like that. And also this one. Because it'll come through there into there and that one's sorted out there. There we go, so that's good. So then we can put down a bunch of extra forestry. So all through here like this, just paint it all in. Um, I think we will sort of build on this road. It may be a problem, but we'll sort of think we need the extra area for the moment. We may have to go into offices, given that we're running out of space and this is area is becoming very traffic logged and it's not designed the best um, it's definitely not my finest work um, maybe we're gonna have to do something about that maybe we're just gonna have to sort of get into offices a little bit more heavily so we're gonna fix our district to make sure that it's fine so we're actually going to expand out there she might as well cover the cargo thing and expand down here like that there we go um, and some water so we're running a water line from there to there and just cover that a little bit there that should be brilliant. So there we go. So I should be getting a lot of extra, a lot of extra industry coming through there, which is good. Um, actually, I'm going to change my mind. We're going to actually build out through there like that, and get rid of this one here um, because that was covering up some forestry industry that we could use. So we're going to, we're going to build that one there and to there. So there we go. So it should be quite a bit of extra forestry industry that will be set up quite nicely there. How's our services looking? Uh, not too bad actually. I mean, we definitely could serve to um, increase our services over there, but I think for the moment it's probably okay. All right, we are up to the Grand City Milestone, which is good, 19,000 population. So we've now get our third loan. We're not gonna need it because we've got quite a bit of money um, and also a solar power plant. Um, is it just me or a solar power plant is going to be quite a bit less effective or worth it because of the fact that um, during the night they don't produce anything so therefore I mean I know peak demand is going to be during the day like that's sort of just logical um, but given that you sort of can't store it it sort of means that you're always, sort of going, you're always going to need you know to build sort of power plants and stuff or you know wind turbines and stuff with op which operate 24 7 so it sort of suggests to me that maybe that's just you know more efficient to do that anyway but so how much does it actually make so it brings in zero to 160 megawatts cost 80,000 I suppose that's it is a lot isn't it given that an advanced wind turbine brings in 20 for 12 so if we come up to 160 so that's divided by 2 is 80 um, Yes, it actually is quite a bit more cheaper, isn't it? Interesting. Also got a dam as well. We thought about putting a dam down here, didn't we, guys? Um, where was it? About here, I think. So that's that's another 208 megawatts there. I'm actually almost tempted to just, just actually put that down, guys. I mean, we've got a lot of money. It's only cost us 88,000. Could generate a lot of power for us. I'm worried about it overflowing, um, but yeah. 24 and a half minutes, should we do it? Sort of a little bit of a spare of the moment thing. The banks are relatively high though, which is sort of what's leading me to maybe think that it's gonna be more than fine. Um, and they're sort of quite high all the way along where they're gonna sort of build up. I think we're gonna do this guys. I think we're actually just gonna, we're just gonna run with this. We're just gonna make a spare of the moment decision for 208 megawatts. 
There we go. It's down. It's in. All right. Let the game run. See what happens. Got our water pumps up here, which is good, so they're not going to be sort of like dried out or anything. Um, all right. Let's watch this. I'm actually going to speed up the game to two. Definitely building up. So usually what happens with water dams is it sort of builds up, um, and then like this, it would drain off, and then it would sort of cut, start coming through properly. So you see the, the river um, building up, or yeah, draining out there. So this is definitely building up quite a bit. For the moment, it's okay. It's almost coming up to breaking its banks, but it should start kicking in quite quickly. I don't think it's going to get anywhere above there. For the moment, it's working quite well, guys. I think. It's lucky they've got high banks, actually. It's starting to come through now, so it's only generating 96, so that's going to... The flow should increase quite a bit. So it's definitely starting to flow through now, which is good. It's still sort of building up, though. It's coming into some gullies and stuff over here. I think we're okay for the moment. This is still operating. Our power lines are working. It's 128, so it is increasing. 144. Yep, 144, which is good. Cool, I think we're good. I think it's okay. Sort of is still building up back through here, but I think it's going to be okay. It's going to work. That's pretty awesome. Um, we've got a lot of extra extra um, energy now, which is good. So what you, we're going to need some more water. So I'm actually going to put down another water pump. Um, where, guys? Where? Where's a good spot? Or it's there, isn't it, really? Is that hooked up to our pipe? So I'm not sure it is. Oh, it is now. There we go. So that should give us a fair bit extra water capacity, and we're going to obviously need some sewage as well. Um, should we get a water treatment plant? Purifies 80%, so in other words, it produces a lot less um, pollution. And it's more expensive, but not by a whole lot. So I think we're going to put a couple of these down. I think we're going to put two down. Put one there, one there. And I think we're actually going to get rid of another one of these. Or one of those, I should say. Just so I don't ever like looking at that brown sludge. It looks absolutely disgusting, doesn't it? Especially for such a... Look at that. Ugh, it's horrible. Um, especially for such a pristine island. I mean, look at the island. It's beautiful. When they come down here, it's just all sewage. Ew. Gross. Um, so that should be fine. Is that got power? It should have power. Yep. Uh, maybe not. Oh, it does now. There we go. Let's wait for these to kick in, and we should have heaps of sewage. There we go. Heaps and heaps of sewage. Which is good, and it should be a lot less, or a lot more clean. Um, so the river's fine. It's so definitely built up a lot, but it hasn't broken... Oh, crap. It's broken the banks there. I lied. Mm, 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 mm. Is that going to be a problem? It's flooding our rail. Oh, rubbish. Rats, rats, rats. Come on, damn. It's only up to 160. Flow a bit better. I think the flow's not strong enough, guys. I think it's it's not quite strong enough. It's hmm. So it definitely it's flooded our rail thing there, which is not good at all. Can we build in a better one? There we go. Tire. <laughs> Problem solved for the moment. Um, but yeah, definitely gonna have to keep an eye on it because if it's not gonna flow properly, I mean, I know it does take quite a bit of time to come in. Um, so it's up to 160. So I think it sort of needs time just to build up and get the flow and stuff going right into the river. So it's 160, sitting at 160 now, 144, yeah. All right, we're just gonna give it time, guys. We're just gonna leave it, give it time, and see how it goes. Um, getting a few flies in this area, so actually what we're going to do, we are going to get rid of these two. We're going to replace them with the models up, and we're going to put them right there. And then our police station, right there. There we go. So if we look at our coverage now, once those kick in, which they should do quite quickly, they've got power, yep. 
Um, so there we go. So we actually got full coverage over here now, which is really, really good for our fire and the police as well. Lots and lots of coverage. So that's going to help out. So actually, so upgrading levels, I mean, I know sort of forestry and stuff doesn't, um, but it does sort of make an, an impact. If you don't have enough services um, in these areas, actually it will impact their um, productivity and all that kind of stuff. So it looks like this area is getting quite a bit more use with our cargo train. So I think this was actually the problem. I think it wasn't connected up. So it was sort of like they couldn't actually get out this way. Um, which are, so it looks like that. So I mean, we can't actually, they actually can't get around this way. So there's actually sort of no, they can't really sort of just turn on like a dime really there, can they? So I think that was the problem. I think that was why we weren't getting any cargo, like a lot of cargo trains. I mean, we're getting a lot through here. Are we still getting trucks through here? There's one there. Um, it looks like not. It looks like they're all going through. There's one up, oh, moved over. That's good. There's one there. Is it going to come in? No, moved over. Right, so we sorted the problem, the guys. That was it. I knew something was a bit, a bit funny. It shouldn't have been happening. So that's quite good. I'm quite happy that that's that's sorted. Um, yeah. So the river's still fine. It's definitely sort of banking up a lot, but that's to be expected. It's holding everywhere. Still getting 176. So maybe it's just going to take a bit. Maybe it's going to take a while, to sort of, to get the flow and stuff through properly. I mean, it's definitely it's, the river's back to sort of normal out there, isn't it? Sweet. So, 19, 20,000 population, plus 12,000 cash. A um, little bit of in residential, some commercial, some industrial. But I think for now, guys, I think that was quite a productive episode. I think we achieved a hell of a lot. So that is good. Quite pleased. So I've definitely got this in here, which I think has cut off our traffic um, or you know, made the traffic situation a lot better. Um, so these, they're red, but they're, you know, they're really manageable. There's actually not a huge amount of cars coming through here. Look at our public transport. We've got 1,154 using the metro, which is brilliant. So if we look at our, if I can click on the station, where is it? There. Yeah, so 625. So a lot of people come into the CBD. So I'm actually tempted now to actually build another one here and another one here. Um, and then just use this existing line, but just sort of have more stops basically. So we don't want to have too many cars or you know, metro cars on the track. Um, it'll lead to congestion. But I think for now, we, we could also maybe put another one up here, but I guess this area probably covers it. So 107 there, 121 there, and 299 there. So this is definitely the busiest one. So maybe we do need another one up here. Not sure. Think about it. Um, but yeah, I definitely think we'd be served with putting some more in our CBD, so that's quite good. But I think it's working quite well. So what are we going to do next time? We are going to deal with some of our zoning um, problems. We may start expanding out our... Um, some more high density, although we've got a fair bit of capacity in these residential areas still, so I think maybe just leave it. Um, and we're actually going to work on a bus network to try and get even more cars off the road. Look at our pedestrians, so there's heaps of people using the pedestrian lines, which is brilliant. Look at this, huge amount of people. Just great, exactly what we designed them for. So, I'm um, going to put a cutting episode here, guys, 33 minutes, which is pretty good. Hope you've enjoyed this one, I hope you're enjoying the series. And as always, if you could subscribe to the channel and like the video, that would be enormously appreciated. Hope you've all had a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon.